We become disappointed with what we have. Hence, we endlessly compare our lives with that of others, thinking the grass is greener on the other side. You feel other people have achieved in life more than you. But I tell you, when you pay a visit to the other side and take a look at them closely, you will discover that what they have all along is artificial. The grass is no greener. Their situation is not better than yours. No person is born into this world satisfied. We all have daily wants and needs. The man's that get you out of bed way early even before sunrise. You toil and you grind yourself trying to fill up that space in need of satisfaction, trying to achieve a sense of purpose. A lot of folks even spend most of their time comparing their lives with out of others, thinking, if only I have this and I have that, then will I be successful? Or if I can just get one more thing, if I can just get that promotion or buy a larger house, then will I be satisfied? But the sad news is that on attaining that position, on getting to that new level, happiness never comes. Your life now becomes a merry-go-round. You keep striving to find joy with no true result. This eventually leads you to a state of unhappiness, discontentment and misery. A lifetime is spent chasing the wind. We become disappointed with what we have, hence, we endlessly compare our lives with that of others, thinking the grass is greener on the other side. You feel other people have achieved in life more than you. But I tell you, when you pay a visit to the other side and take a look at them closely, you will discover that what they have all along is artificial. The grass is no greener. Their situation is not better than yours. Don't compare yourself, your achievements with another person. Comparison destroys. It is the thief of joy as President Theodore Roosevelt proceeds. You need to realize that the world system is always reminding us by way of media and the likes that what we have presently is not good enough. Therefore, there's always the pressure to upgrade. There's always the pressure to buy more. One thing we need to learn though, as individuals, is contentment. This is a major key towards attaining satisfaction. Contentment is having a feeling of satisfaction with your present state, but it should not be attached to anything or any person in this world. You have to be happy with yourself. You have to be happy with your present achievement. You have to be satisfied with your present state because when you lack satisfaction with your current situation, it often leads to the scene of covetousness. You become bitter and angry and you eventually miss out on the blessings of God for your life. From the world's perspective, contentment varies from material possession to your prestige in the society. All these accomplishments only give pleasure that lasts for a while. It is not eternal. Remember that whatever you acquire here on earth should not be done by way of selfish ambition. Don't store up treasures for yourself on earth where it can be easily destroyed or stolen, but rather lay up treasures in heaven where it can be destroyed. For where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. Should we then live a carefree life? Not at all. So as not to get things twisted. Contentment does not mean to be indifferent, lazy, and pessimistic. It also does not mean to be complacent. After all, the book of Proverbs says, The hands of the diligent shall be a rule, but the lazy, the slothful ones, shall end up in slave labor. How do we find contentment, you may want to ask. 
in the book of Philippians chapter 4 from verse 11, Paul said, I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstance. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want, I can do all things through Jesus who gives me strength. Paul revealed the secret to contentment here. He said, I can do all things through Jesus Christ who gives me strength. Christian contentment comes from God alone. To have lasting satisfaction, you need to first of all cultivate a habit of thanksgiving. Be grateful for what God has done. Don't focus on the things you have not received. The psalmist says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. God daily loads you with benefits. He owns your present and your future, and he has made provisions for you even before you need them. He is the one that can satisfy your hunger. Have faith in God and put your confidence in him. There and then will you have true contentment. Remember, godliness with contentment is great gain. Secondly, seek God's will for your life. Commit your plans and your aspirations to him. He will lead you every step of the way. This will prevent you from wasting time and making destiny mistakes. Don't conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed daily by the renewing of your mind that you may prove that which is good, pleasing and perfect will of God. Finally, cast your cares, cast your worries to God. Don't live in anxiety but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, for He cares for you. Be satisfied, be contented in Christ. Stop chasing the wind. Please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press the bell notifications for more videos.